the nose, hold your breath for a second, and exhale, release. One last, inhale deeply, and exhale, release anything that doesn't serve you anymore. Distractions are going to be around us, even though maybe your kids are around, husband, wife. Try your best to keep the concentration on the sound of your breath. Bring your hands to your heart center. Take a moment for dedicating your practice. Let's open the practice with one nice long breath together. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly open your eyes. Have a good practice. Namaste. Stretch your legs, shake your legs up and down, side to side. Good. We're going to start with mobility. Double pigeon. Doesn't matter if your knee is not touching the opposite ankle. Just from here, switch your legs. You can keep your fingertips on the floor. And for those of you comfortable with your double pigeon, keep your arms up. We move with the different paces. Take five more, back and forth. Flex your right and left foot. Two more. One last. You're going to keep your right leg on top of your left. Take double pigeon if your knee is up. Place something underneath. Inhale, fingertips on the floor, forward fold. Take a couple of breaths. Allows you to clear your mind if you still have any distractions. And exhale, chest up. Keeping your right leg up, bend your left, sole of the left foot on the floor. Open your right knee, inhale, lift your chest up. Inhale, hips up and down three times. Two. Now, inhale up, hold for five counts. Puff your chest up, open up your shoulders and keep your right knee pointing the side. Flex your right foot. Exhale, release. Bring your right foot over your opposite knee. Either you can keep your bottom leg straight or bent. Take a twist. Those of you feeling comfortable binding, go ahead and bind. But we're just starting the practice, so mild and soft. Exhale, release. Switch. They set left foot over your right. So from upside down, you have to be able to see a triangle. Flex your foot, inhale, fingertips on the floor, exhale. Lengthen your back, think in a cobra position on your upper back and relax your neck. Inhale, torso up. Place your right foot on the floor for tabletop position. Spread your fingers. Three times, chest up, hips up, one, two, and last one, hold for five counts. Pull your chest up, keep your right knee pointing to the side of the room, flex your foot, left foot. Exhale, release, cross your legs, hold your big toes and rock and roll back and forth. Can I go? That because my microphone back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And to the top of the mat, hands on the floor. Find your downward facing dog. When you're downward facing dog, any movement you feel you need to do, bending your knees, maybe bringing your right hand to your left foot. Just keep your body moving, mobility, warming up your joints. Three, two, one. Look forward, right foot forward, left foot forward. Inhale, lengthen. Forward fold as you exhale. Come up to standing, bring your arms up. Inhale, one breath. Hands to your heart, exhale. Lace your fingers behind your back. Separate your feet hip distance. 
Inhale, shoulder stretch, lead with your heart as you exhale. You can either keep your knees slightly bent so you have more space on your hamstrings, therefore you're gonna be able to stretch a little more your shoulders. Back and forth five times. Keep the body weight onto the ball of your feet, engage your quadriceps. Good, find a stillness, a stretch. If you feel comfortable on your lower back, now and stretch your legs and try to send your wrists towards the floor. And one, release your hands, roll up to a standing position, one breath, inhale, arms up, exhale. Feet together, feet apart at the top of the mat for a few rounds of some salutations with some variations. Inhale, bring your arms up, either back straight or backward bent. As you exhale, forward fold, lead with your heart. Inhale, lengthen. Take a step back, right leg back, left leg back, plank position. Knees on the floor, three times, three triceps push-ups. One, two, three. We're meeting downward facing dog, one breath, inhale. Exhale. Bring your right foot forward in between your hands. Take your high lunge position. Inhale, one breath, arms up. Place your fingers behind your back just for one breath. Inhale, puff your chest up, mild back bend. Hands on the floor, plank position. Knees down. This time we do five triceps push-ups. You can start in with your knees on, on the floor and progress with your knees off the floor. Two more. Downward facing dog, exhale. Look forward, left foot forward. Come to a high lunge, inhale one breath. Place your fingers behind your back. Give yourself a nice and mild stretch. Space on the back of your neck. Hands on the floor, plank position. We do five again. Try to see if you can do it with your knees off the floor. Triceps push up, chaturanga, five. Four, three, two, pause, inhale, cobra, exhale, downward facing dog. Take one big breath in, down dog, inhale, open up your mouth, exhale, and release. Look forward, either take a step or hop in between your hands, flat back, lengthen, forward fold, exhale. Come up to standing, breathe in. Hands to your heart, exhale. One more set. Inhale, arms up. Maybe arms back, forward fold, exhale. Lengthen your back, inhale. Take a step or jump back, chaturanga, hold your breath. Inhale, backward bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bring your right foot forward in between your hands. Take a high lunge position, one breath, arms up. Swing your left arm underneath your right arm. Take your ego arms. Inhale, elbows slightly away from your chest. Long, steady breath. Hands on the floor. Hold your breath. Chaturanga. Inhale, backward bend. Exhale, downward facing. One big breath in down dog. Inhale. Exhale. Left foot forward. Inhale, high lunge, one breath. Right arm underneath your left arm, cross two times, ego. Inhale, mild backward bend. Observe your breath at all times and let your breath tell you how deep, how soft you're gonna practice. Hands on the floor, plank, chaturanga. Inhale, backward bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a long deep breath on your down dog, inhale, open your mouth, exhale, and release. Look forward, right foot forward, left foot forward, or jump in between your hands. Flat back, lengthen, forward fold, exhale. Come up to standing, breathe in, hands to your heart, exhale. Good. Separate your feet, hip distance, either or. Take figure four, or take half lotus on your right side. 
couple of breath. Inhale, arms up. Four fold, exhale, touch the floor. Lengthen your back, inhale. Keep the same position on your right leg. Jump back to a plank position. Chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Knee to your nose. Circle your knee. Open up your hip. On a scorpion, stretch your leg. Split legs. Look forward. Bring your right foot in between your hands. Back heel down. Warrior two, one breath. On your warrior two, take a half bind, triangle, or full bind, triangle. Look up, three, two, one. Take a half bind, right fingertips on the floor, half moon position, exhale. From this position, any variation you feel, chopasana. And try to catch your foot with your right hand instead. Leg higher. Warrior two, one breath. Warrior two, four, resetting. Inhale, arms up. Make a fist with your right hand. Pull up, inhale, reverse warrior, exhale. Back to a warrior two, Eskandasana, side lunge. If you need fingertips on the floor or hands in prayer. If you prefer to bind, right fingertips on the floor and go for bind, your choice. Flex your right foot, three, two, one. Fingertips on the floor to your left side. We're gonna take position on the left side. Come onto your fingertips. So if you need to adjust for less intensity, bring your heel closer to your groin. If you want to feel more, bring your foot parallel to the ground. Good. Keep your right fingertips on the floor, either arm straight or forearm on the ground. Stretch your right quadricep. A little bit of movement for back and forth. And then bring your heel closer to your butt cheek for three, two, one. Hands on the floor. Find your downward facing dog. One breath in down dog, inhale. And down dog, exhale. Plank position. Chaturanga, hold your breath. Inhale, backward bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look forward, either or take a step or hop in between your hands. Lengthen, forward fold, exhale. Come up to standing, breathe in. Hands to your heart, exhale. Same flow on the left side. Separate your feet hip distance and bring your left foot either or figure four or lotus position. Take a couple of breaths here. Spread your right toes, strong standing leg. Keep your figure four hands or fingertips on the floor. Belly in, push with your hands even more. Jump back to a plank position. Chaturanga, inhale, cobra, exhale, down. Knee to the nose, circle your knee, open up your hip to a scorpion. And I stretch your leg to a split legs. Try to keep your left armpit on the ground. Look forward, left foot in between your hands, back heel down on the floor for warrior two. Warrior two today is transition, so make the stance slightly shorter. Take a half bind or a full bind triangle. Look down, look up, whatever is comfortable for you. Good. Bend your front leg, take a half bind, half moon position. If you did chupasana, carry on. Looking up, it's a little more challenging. 
If you feel it's not that comfortable and your breath looked up. Strong right leg. Transition to a warrior two. One breath. Inhale, arms up. Make a fist with your left hand. Pull your left wrist up. Inhale, reverse. Back to a warrior two. Skandasana side lunge to the right side. Either fingertips on the floor or hands to your heart. Strong left leg, toes up. Fingertips on the floor, come to a pigeon on your right leg. Couple of breath, move side to side until you find your center. Either left arm up straight or forearm on the ground and catch your right foot with your opposite hand. Back and forth a couple of times. When you're comfortable, if you're comfortable on your knees, bring your heel closer to your buttocks. Look up. Two more breaths. One last. Exhale, release, hands on the floor. Find your downward facing dog. One breath, inhale. One breath, exhale. Plank position. This set, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Back to a reverse, Chaturanga or Chaturanga. Push up, downward facing dog. So now you have the option of reverse chaturanga for your flows. Take three more breaths. Two. One last. Good. Cross your ankles, sit down, find your seated position, stretch your legs, shake your legs, right and left, right and left. Right leg. Either Janushirasana, figure four, or take lotus position, half padmasana on your right. Uh, I don't have a towel, but if you cannot bind, take a towel, small towel, or a strap around your foot and go for a bind. Inhale, shoulders pointing forward, forward fold, exhale. Right shoulder down. Lengthen your back three. One more breath. Exhale, up, good. Continue, if this is already too much, place your foot on the floor. Bend your left, sole of the left foot on the floor. Right fingertips are on the mat, left shoulder in. Take a bind, one breath, inhale, forward fold, exhale. Three more breaths. Be mindful with the following transition, so if you need the props, take them closer to you. Inhale, release the bind. We're going to bring, we're going to continue with the half lotus. Take the vine, either or, left knee bent, it's easier, or left leg is straight, your choice. Inhale, left hand on the floor, side plank, exhale. Two more breaths. Continue with the bind, and then a slowly release. Good. Shake it out, left leg. Transition to a horse pose position. Sole of the left foot on the floor. So now bring body weight, mild body weight towards your right knee. Right knee back, left foot forward. If you have chairs, use your chairs as a prop, as a support. Maybe hand on your knee, maybe hands in prayer. 
If you're comfortable here, eagle arms, left arm underneath. Two more breaths. Okay, we're going to continue with arm balance. I will do it sideways. Okay. We're going to take uh, the left shoulder behind the left knee. Shift the body way forward. One leg Kundiyanasana, one leg Lotus. Jump back. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale to a downward facing dog. Point your toes. Shake your side, side to side. Three, two, and one. Good. Remember your reverse Chaturanga for this flow. Plank position, Chaturanga, Cobra. Back to your Chaturanga. Push up, downward facing dog. Take one big breath, inhale, exhale. Either jump through or cross your ankles, sit down. Good, shake your legs, move your ankles. Lotus position requires not just flexibility on your hips, or also ankle flexibility. Three, one, good. Either Janushirasana or take your lotus position. Take a bind with the left arm. Careful with your left knee. Don't push your knee down. Place something underneath it if you need it. Okay? Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Try to bring your left shoulder down as well in line with the right shoulder. Inhale, up. Release the bind. Right foot. Sole of the right foot on the floor. Right shoulder. In, internally rotate your right shoulder and take a bind. Lengthen one breath, inhale, forward fold, exhale. Observe your breath. If it's too much for you, if your breath is telling you to take it easy, just don't force. Two more breaths. And one. Exhale, release. I'm going to do the facing the other way so you can see it better. Take a bind. Keep the same lotus position. Either you try with the standing, with the right leg straight to your, uh, to your side plank, Vashistasana, or soften, bend your knee and inhale. Spread your fingers. Come up. Two more breaths. One more. Exhale and release. Good. We're going to come to a horse position. This is the last one. Shake your right leg. Good. Bend your right leg. Bring the body weight to the left side. Hands on the floor. Right foot forward if you have. A chair, take a chair. Maybe keep your fingertips. This is my tight side on your knee, hands in prayer, or take a ego bind. Good. We're gonna continue with the arm balance. So bring your right shoulder underneath your right knee. Stretch your right leg like Kundiyanasana and left knee up. Chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Point your toes, shake your right side, shake your left side. Go. Separate your feet as wide as the mat. So in between these poses, I like to, in between flows, I like to stretch shoulders on my personal practice as well when I teach. So you're going to take melting heart position. Make sure your heels are on the floor. Back and forth a couple of times. Take the Edges of the mat. Inhale, melting heart. Try to send your chest closer to your thighs. And eventually the crown of the head maybe, maybe not touch the floor. Slow and steady breath. Three more breaths. Two.
One more breath. Go back to a downward facing dog position. Inhale, plank pose, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, back to chaturanga. Push up, downward facing dog. Take one big breath in down dog, inhale, and exhale. Separate your feet as wide as the mat, and walk your hands to your feet for a squatting dog position. For a couple of breaths, move side to side with your fingertips on the floor. Bring your hands to your heart center. Take a couple of breaths, close your eyes, calm your breath. Two more breaths. Exhale, hands on the floor, find your downward facing dog position. One breath in down dog, inhale. One breath in down dog, exhale. Good, feet together, heels up. Bend your knees, stomach to thighs, melting heart position, like we did before, but this time with your feet together. Good, stretch your legs, right leg up. Right knee to the opposite elbow, stretch your leg, inhale, either fall in triangle. If you have a split on your practice, take Vishma Mitrasana. Catch your foot, split legs. Inhale, release, three leg dog, one breath. Bring your foot in between your hands. Left knee down, low lunge position. Make the stance a little bit shorter, so don't sink too much on your hips. Inhale, twist. Okay. For those of you comf comfortable with your bind, take your bind. Once you're ready, inhale, back knee off the floor. Make the stance closer and a stretch of front leg. One more breath. Exhale, soften your knee, back to a low lunge position with your fingertips on the floor. And pivot your left toes so you have more support for compass pose. Either left arm up, couple of breath here, or right shoulder behind your right knee. Take your foot. And a stretch with compass. Two more breath. Inhale, release. Back to a low lunge position with your fingertips on the floor. Bring your left fingertips one step to the side. Right arm from inside. Pick up your back knee, take one, two, three steps and catch your foot for super soldier position. Two more breath. Exhale, feet together at the top of your mat. Forward fold. Lengthen your back, inhale. Take a step or jump back, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra. Back to Chaturanga. Push up, down. Take one big breath, inhale. Open up your mouth, exhale, and release. Good. Left side, feet together. Bend your knees, stomach to thighs. Take three breaths. Left leg up halfway. Left knee to the opposite elbow. Either stretch your leg in falling triangle or catch your foot from outside. Take Vishma Mitrasana. Exhale, release, back to three leg dog. Foot in between your hands and take a low lunge position. Make the stance a little bit shorter and go for hands in prayer. If you did before, take your bind. Once you are stable, pick up your back knee off the floor and stretch your front leg.
and one. Back to low lunge position with your fingertips on the floor. Pivot your right toes so you have more base, more support. Left arm up, either just right arm up like this or shoulder from inside. Heel up and turn your compass position. Strong standing leg, three, two, one. Back to a low lunge position with your fingertips on the floor. Take a couple of breaths in between poses. Super sore there is the next position. So right fingertips to the side, one step. Right knee up, catch a foot with your left hand and bring your knee up towards the ceiling. Two more breaths. Exhale, release, feet together. Inhale, lengthen. Forward fold, exhale. Come up to standing, breathe in. Hands to your heart, exhale. Go. Separate your feet as wide as your hips. Take three breaths, close your eyes, one. Two. And three. Good. Bring your right leg in lotus position. Either hold your opposite elbows. Let me demo. Opposite elbow. Whoops. Like this or go for your big toe. Toes are holding your big toe. Forward fold, exhale. Try to bring your hand closer to your foot, to standing foot. Either a couple of breaths here, or see if you can bring your hand to your calf muscle. Fingertips on the floor, soften your standing leg. One breath, inhale, come up. Shake your legs, three, two, one. Good. Left side, keep your feet apart. Take your lotus on your left side. Don't force to bring your knee down, okay? Just let, let your knee be quiet without forcing the way that it is, okay? Either arm around or take a bind. Same thing like we did from a seated positions, and mindfully walk your hand to your foot. Keep your core strong, Uriana Banda. Maybe try it again the, to bring the right hand towards your calf muscle. Fingertips on the floor, soften your standing leg. And I slowly come back up. Good. Feet together at the top of your mat. Inhale, bring your arms up. Maybe backward bend. Forward fold. Exhale. Lengthen your back. Inhale. Take a step back. Jump back. Chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Back to chaturanga. Push up. Downward facing dog. Take one big breath in down dog. Inhale. Open your mouth. Exhale and release. Inhale deeply, exhale completely, feet together, heels up, bend your knees, right leg up, one breath, right knee to the right armpit, touch, circle your knee, open up your hip, scorpion to split legs for three, two, foot outside of your hand, right foot outside of your hand. Inhale, high lunge or warrior one position. But your right foot is one step to the right side, like 1.5 warrior. Inhale, arms up. We're going to swing the left arm underneath your right arm for eagle. Inhale, resting eagle to a humble eagle position. Those of you pretty flexible, please try not to touch the floor. Two. And one. Hands on the floor, pick up your back heel up, place your back knee on 
on the floor. Okay. Ball of the right foot up. So you are sort of like this. Okay. Different options, different practitioners. Mindfully, little by little, stretch your leg to the right side to your maximum capacity for side split. If you're quite comfortable here, place your left forearm on the floor, right arm up, and stretch your quadriceps. Sort of like we did before in pigeon, same idea. Two more breaths. Exhale, release. Good. Keep your split legs. Pick up your back knee off the floor. Good. And we're going to practice Kundiyanasana. I don't have space here, but I try. Inhale. Kundiyanasana 2. Jump back. Cobra. Downward facing dog. Take one big breath. Inhale. Exhale. I just realized that my pants are red like the mat. It's a bit confusing, I think. Next time I will change a brighter color. One more breath. Good. Feet together. Bend your knees, stomach to thighs. Take this opportunity for a stretch your shoulders more. Try to bring your chest to your thighs. Left leg up halfway. Left knee to the left armpit. Touch arms straight. Circle your knee. Open to a scorpion. Scorpion to a split legs. Exhale, square your hips, foot outside of your hand, either high lunge position or warrior one position, your choice. Arms up, inhale, one breath, pause. Left arm on the, right arm underneath your left, inhale, humble eagle position. Don't rest on your arm, don't rest on your fingers. Hands on the floor, pick up your right heel up, right knee down, and stretch your front leg. So you always stop on the pose that you feel comfortable to breathe. If you did it before, take your side split. One side feels different than the other one. This is my tighter side. Good. Right forearm on the floor, stretch your left quadricep, right quadricep. And exhale, hands on the floor, pick up your right knee up. Let's practice an arm balance, Ekapara Kundi and Asana too. Chaturanga. Downward facing dog. Take one big breath in down dog, inhale. Open up your mouth, exhale and release. Inhale. Exhale and release. One last inhale. Exhale and release. Good. Next inhalation, cross your ankles, sit down. Bring the sole of the feet together, butterfly position. Take a couple of breaths, keep your fingertips on the floor open and close your knees several times. Three, two, and one. Good. Bring your right knee to the chest and then right foot to your opposite knee. Remember we started the class in a reverse tabletop position, same idea. Flex your foot, take a couple of breaths, inhale, exhale. Good. Bring your feet, bring your hips halfway up and catch your foot with your left hand, your right foot. Take an extra breath, inhale, kick your leg up and bring your hips up. Too much for you. Just pretend that you're touching your foot, maybe just touching your toes. Exhale, foot ankle on your knee, hug your knee, maybe just in this position or a little bit more here. 
Just if you're comfortable with Gomukhasana, so bring the eye of the elbow towards your, so your foot all on over your arm, right arm up over and take your Gomukhasana. This is just an option, your choice. I stay here. Three, two more breath, two, one more breath, one. Continue with a hip opener. We're gonna do compass with lotus on your left side. Okay, if still lotus is not accessible for you today, keep your foot underneath, okay? Those of you comfortable with your lotus, bring your leg up, left leg, and take your compass position on your right side. Keep your heel closer to you. Exhale and release. Change your size. Left side. Bring your left foot on top of your knee. Spread your fingers. Poof your chest up halfway. Catch your left foot with your right hand. Stretch your leg and kick up your hips. Looks easier, but actually it's not. I'm sweating. Exhale, release. Take a couple of breaths here. Remember, you have different options, either here, here, or take your gomukasana. Three more. Two, one. Okay, we're going to do lotus position on your right side and your compass. Foot down or foot up for your lotus. Remember, never force in. And up. Two more breath. Exhale, release. Good. Cross your legs, hands on the floor, downward facing dog. We're going to continue with a twist and a stretch in your shoulders before going upside down. So continue in your melting heart position, separate your feet. You're going to bring your right hand to your opposite foot, okay, from the side, right hand to the opposite foot. Either stay here or with your left fingers start to walk and reach your right foot with your left. Then you're going to pull, 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 and twist. Two more breath. Exhale. Release. Your left hand to the right. Either fingertips in front of your head or start to walk your hand towards your opposite foot. Catch and then inhale, twist, twist, twist. Exhale and release. Good. Take child pose for five breaths before upside down positions. Now if you need to adjust your mat closer to the wall, so I give you a few breaths for doing that. So if you're comfortable with your tripod in the middle of the room, take a child pose instead. Take three more breaths. Two. One more breath. Good. Back to seated position. Let me demo first. So we're going to practice. We're going to try to practice Kukutasana. It's a challenging pose in the way that you're going to fold your legs while upside down position. Okay, so first we're going to practice on the floor trying to fold in the legs. If it's not possible, maybe today just practice tripod position, okay? Good. From a seating position, fold your right, 
Now, if you need a little bit of help for warming up, and foot over, okay? And then release, try it again. Maybe this time bend your left with your hand, and stay there, and uncross, okay? Continue at your own pace for a few rounds. Right, left, release. Left, right, release. Two more rounds. Right, left, release. Left, right, release. Very good. Okay, so let me demo first. If it's your first time doing your lotus with your legs in the air, I recommend to you to do it with your wall next to you, okay? Oh. We're going to start in a tripod position, so from a kneeling position, your hands are in front of your knees. So make sure your hands are always in front of your head, so you have to be able to see your hands at all times. Squeeze your elbows in, come to a half tripod position, and from half tripod, starting to bring your foot closer, closer to your hip. With your opposite leg, you're going to bring your foot closer to your hip, and then the other one, okay? Now, try to squeeze your legs in so your lotus is pretty, pretty small. And after a couple of breaths here, option one is just touching your elbows as high as you can to your armpit. Little by little, shift the body weight towards your hands and lift up. Look forward. Maybe stretch your arms, maybe not. Back chin to chest, up halfway, release your legs, and take a break. Good. We're going to invest in this position. We're going to try to practice this position for one minute and a half, okay? So that doesn't mean that you have to do everything. You do a little bit, a little bit, you take a rest whenever you can, okay? Let's go. Those of you starting, I'm also going to continue giving different options. If you are here today for this class and you say, what? I'm not going to be able to do being upside down. This is my first class. But take your two blocks, place your knees on them, rest your shoulders on top of the props, squeeze your elbows. Maybe today your option is just this. We continue with your knees and your triceps. Try to see how this position feels. Okay, the rest of you continue on your lotus position. Try to bring your knees as high as you can to your armpits. Make your body as small. The smaller your body is, the easier it will be to find the balance. Now bring more body weight to the fingertips. So if the crown of the head is on the floor, and slowly start to look forward and push, push more. You have only 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Go to release. Make a face right on top of the left. Look to the right side. Look to your left side. Your last vinyasa, downward facing dog. I'm going to take a soft vinyasa plank position, knees down, chest chin. Inhale, upward facing or cobra. Exhale, downward facing. Find your seated position. So while I'm closing the class, I'm going to practice Gomukhasana, closing the hips, right leg over the left leg. Couple of breath here. Calm your heartbeat. So remember after the practice, do your counter poses, neutral poses first then counter poses, and time for Shavasana, long Shavasana. Two more breaths. 
exhale switch, toes pointing backwards, knees in line if possible. Exhale, good. Let's close the practice together and then you have time for a long Shavasana. Close your legs in any comfortable position, bring your hands to your heart center. Take one big breath, inhale. 